right, everybody, welcome. My name is Emily of Emerson's Crochet, and today I wanted to do my like little introductory video here for the challenge I have started or uh, brought to everyone's attention over on Fortunate Creations channel or with Kim on her live this morning. So this is more of the like permanent like um, little introductory to say, hey, this is the challenge. This is my um, like notion, I guess, to let everyone know what it is, what we're going to do, uh, what's it about, why are we doing it, all the things that you might be questioning. So first things first, it is called the Pattern Share Challenge. Simply put, you, I'm asking everyone to email me their favorite pattern or patterns, as long as it's not more than five or ten. Ten might be pushing it, five, eh, if you give me six, whatever. So, it could be a pattern that maybe you use frequently or one that you've been wanting to try. Just as long as it's a favorite, I don't care. I don't mind. As far as difficulty level, as long as it's not expert or anything like that, I'm completely fine with anything. Um, if it's got a certain stitch to it that maybe I've not tried before, I am willing to try it. Even if I've... Um, so, excuse the last few words, I was rambling a little bit. Now, as far as that goes, once everyone emails me, I'm going to give everyone about a week and a half from today. So, uh, let me pull up my calendar here. So, about a week and a half, we'll say November 2nd. That gives me plenty of time to get my cardigan finished that I'm testing for someone and it gives all of you plenty of time to locate links or email me a downloadable um, PDF file, get them sent over, and go from there. And it also gives me time to be able to sit down and like write down who sent me what pattern, what day, and just create my list in my notebook. Now, what what'll happen is once everyone has sent in their emails, after that deadline, November 2nd, I'm going to start looking through both my personal and my business email since Kim used my personal on her I am going to look through, pick one pattern. If anyone sends me a stitch video or tutorial or anything of the sort, I may go ahead and do a block for Kim's block party for that week or the following week and then if she's still doing it by then if not whatever I'm not gonna be butthurt about it but I'll work on a pattern once I have that completed I'll go ahead and do a live and then I will pick someone to go ahead and do it and I will be sending them a pattern that I think that they'd enjoy or learn something from and I might pick a second person just to kind of spread out the challenge a little bit. If you get challenged again, no big deal. Um, you know, it's not going to hurt anything. It's the, All this is is really for fun. It's the holiday season. We're all about relaxing, kind of getting cozy and comfy. It's the vibe we're, get, we're aiming for here. So, for me, I don't really have any projects going on. Sure, I mentioned in Kim's Live, I have a six-day star blanket that I kind of set aside. It's over here next to my filing cabinet. And then I've got my stuff I'm making for the farmer's markets for the winter season. And the test cardigan I'm working on, I have to have done by the 1st of November. So, that's where I'm at right now. Once I get the cardigan finished, I plan to mainly work on the farmer's market stuff, but I feel that in between doing those items, I need a break. I need something where I can relax, but also maybe learn something from it. And have content for my channel here, for each and every one of you, so that you're not getting bored of the same old thing. Because I'm sure hearing about farmer's markets isn't everyone's specialty or it's not something that interests everyone. 
especially if it's repetitive, like I'm talking about the same stuff over and over. So that's what the challenge is. That's why we're doing it now. And that's really all there is to it. It's you send me a pattern, I go ahead and pick whichever one I feel best would be fun, uh, entertaining. I'm going to be uh, stash busting with my yarn stash. Whoever I challenge is free to do the same, or if you want to buy yarn, that's totally up to you. However, I would recommend stash busting as well, because why not do that? And then you can go buy more yarn later for a project, right? Win-win? Like wait after to, after the holidays? Or maybe you get yarn for Christmas and you don't know about it yet. So, you got to make room for it, right? Somehow. And I know that happens to me quite often. I get yarn for Christmas and then I usually turn around and gift a product or a project made with that yarn to the person who gifted me the yarn because I've done that for years. So that's my thought on it. Now, if anyone has questions or anything, feel free to comment below or shoot me an email. I'm not going to be picky. Um, if you do like the video, if you are interested in the challenge, if you don't have a pattern, you are more than welcome to like the video, comment below. Even if you comment below and let me know that you sent the email, that way I know to look out for it. That's fine too. Now, if you're not a crocheter, knitter, um, crafty person overall, this challenge is also so that it's fun for you guys to watch and see what we're doing. And who knows, maybe I screw up a stitch, or maybe I screw up the pattern overall. I'm still going to show it because that's the fun in this. It doesn't matter that I mess it up. What matters is it's fun, it's going to be entertaining, and even if I learn something new from it, whether it's attaching pockets as I'm crocheting a panel, or like I'm supposed to be doing for this cardigan, but I'm giving up on it because I have a deadline that's approaching quickly. But it's supposed to be entertaining. It's supposed to be fun for everyone, whether you're participating or just watching on the sidelines. And like right now, we're kind of in that season where people are getting sick. Um, maybe you've lost your voice, literally or figuratively. Maybe you're in a slump right now. So that's what this is all about. It's for fun. It's for giggles. It's going to be fun for the people doing it, but it's also going to be entertaining for those sitting beside, just watching us do our thing. And who knows, maybe every so often my kids are going to pop in and say something cute and hilarious. So that's all I had for today. If anyone has questions, like I said, feel free to comment. I'm going to link my emails down below, especially the one that Kim used, just so that there isn't any confusion. I'm going to... Um, have the hashtag below as well. So that is the hashtag I would like everyone to use in their videos when they introduce that they've been challenged and what they've been um, given as a pattern to work on. That way it's easier. However, if you want to challenge someone else and you don't want to have me forward you emails of the patterns, I can go ahead and suggest that you have people email you so that you can challenge someone else. That way I'm not the only one challenging every uh, certain people to keep it going, you know? Like branch it out, reach more people, because my channel is small and some of you guys have larger channels if you're on YouTube here. So I want it, I want it to be able to reach people and at the end of the day, I could care less if people backtrack it to me and follow my channel and want to see more challenges coming from my channel or my neck of the woods or my YouTube streets, whatever term you like to use. So, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and jump off. I hope everyone has a great day. I hope everyone has or had a great Halloween, depending on when you see this. And we will catch you in the next one. Thanks for stopping by.